Insight Maker 2023 overview. Since it's been eight years since I did one of these, this is probably way beyond time to do a new one. And a number of things have changed in eight years, of course. So Insight Maker is a web-based modeling and simulation environment, um, which is completely free. When you go to insightmaker.com and create a password and log in, the first place it will take you is to your home screen, which will show the, the models that you have created. Until you've created some, uh, there won't be any there. But after you have, well, it will continue to show you the newest ones at the beginning. And notice that this one particularly has been cloned 18 times and it's been cloned 12 times. But we'll talk more about that later. You can also explore insights in that you can search for insights that are already in the database. And there are several hundred thousand of them. Yes, I said hundred thousands of them, which vary anywhere from absolutely amazing to absolute trash. So be very critical of the things that you find and look at and determine what it is that, how you want to use them to, to build on, to develop other things. There are also, there's also an option for new insights. This will show you what's going on in the environment on a moment to moment basis in that this one's just being updated now by someone. This one was updated by me eight minutes ago. I updated this one nine minutes ago. This one was updated 40 minutes ago. So it's, so it's most recent first. Um, and you can step through this, uh, as, as you wish, just to get a sense of, of what people are working on. Additionally, where did I leave this? Oh, there's also help where you, there's a built-in set of information on the various features and functions of Insight Maker that you can look at in terms of how to do various and sundry things. There's you, when you find insights that you really like and want to remember, then you can go ahead and, and essentially, um, identify them with a star so that they'll come up under your stars and it'll be easier to find. And then there's access to your account, um, which is, is a place where you can put a profile of you and and your, your models are also accessible from here. Uh, though they're not in the reverse chronological order like they are in the beginning. But all right, so Within the environment itself, you can create qualitative relationship models. The primitives that you could use are here in a drop down, so you can click on them and it will install them on the canvas. This is the only canvas that you work on. There aren't multiple screens associated with it. Or you can right click in the background and select a, a, a um, primitive from there. There's also a very nice, well, and then there's the flow transitions and settings if you're doing simulations. And uh, once you create models, they're automatically saved for you every time you make changes to them. So you don't have to worry about that. There's also a very nice built-in storytelling feature so that you can go ahead and build a story so someone can walk through as you describe the relationships to them as opposed to simply looking at the entire spaghetti diagram, trying to figure out how to read it. You can do that. You <clears throat> There's an option for images that you can embed in the model to make it more attractive, more informative to people who look at it. And you can also do storytelling with simulation models so that this is a goal seeking with delay structure, which is described and then simulated in various ways. You can also link the, the model to the results so that you can change variables and see what it does to the structure or the, the behavior of the simulation model. You can also do agent based models. This is uh, especially where disease simulation model, which shows you uh, infected, susceptible, and recovered over a period of time. 
and the, there's also a very extensive uh, API that you can use with storytelling or with uh, buttons where you can program actions in the environment to do um, specific things to demonstrate aspects of models. Now, in addition to the help feature that's built into Insight Maker, there is also a learning environment that was developed in Kumu that walks through from the very beginning and demonstrates creating different types of simulations, a number of examples, and then it walks through every feature of Insight Maker, providing uh, a number of sample models and a video to go with each one of the features within Insight Maker. Uh, and I neglected to talk about the fact that there are some options over here in terms of editing some things to do with canvases, to embed the web page in somewhere else, and to do storytelling, importing and exporting, um, and identifying the loops, comparing results, doing sensitivity analysis, optimization, and developing macros that you want to use in models. Sorry, I didn't mean to forget that. So um, this learning module walks through, through everything that's, that's in Insight Maker. And you can search for anything in particular uh, so that link model to results. And it tells you exactly where that is. And it's right here. And you can then read it and watch the video. There's also one of these learning modules for um, doing storytelling. Sorry. Just storytelling. Where am I? Storytelling. All right walks through the sequence. You can mouse over them, read them, watch the video, access the model that's used in that particular one. And then there's a very basic one on agent-based models because it's not an area that I'm very familiar with. Um, so, and because there was a major facelift done to the UI in August of 2022 and a number of enhancements and tuning done to the Insight Maker environment. Since then, uh, the next update, next video that I will do will be an Insight Maker 2023 update. And then I will redo all, all of the models and videos. So you can expect it's probably going to take me the better part of the rest of this year to get through them. But as I do them, I will post them to my YouTube channel. Uh, and you can comment on them and tell me where they make sense, where they've been informative, and where I need to do them again. So hope this has been informative, and I'll see you in the next video relatively soon. Bye.